Hello everyone, Artyom from Agile Analytics here. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting and powerful method uh, which you can use to configure your column numbers or measure numbers displayed in Power BI with dynamic number of decimal places and even more. Uh, let me share my screen and show you my demo report. Okay, here I have um, a simple um, Power BI report with a uh, very simple data model. It contains table called numbers and I have three columns here. Um, one column one is location uh, and there are some names of locations. Uh, column two is numbers, all numbers as you can see. And column three is also numbers uh, with different, well, different kind of numbers. All numbers, positive, negative, uh, numbers with just one decimal place or with many decimal places. And you can sometimes have a project or situation where you need to display these different numbers in your reports and your visuals and your graphs. And um, you can face the following issues. So issue number one with a table. When you try to uh, display numbers with different number of decimal places, they will be rounded to by default and they will be rounded to two. And same happens with calculation calculated measure. For example, I have this measure which uh, is just a multiplication of um, values in column number one and number two. Uh, and uh, you see I have this measure and it also rounded to two decimal places. While in uh, bar chart, I have a uh, different type of issue. So I have the same measure, but some numbers are too long. So I have all these nines in um, in my bar chart uh, in, in decimal places, which I also don't want to see. So that can be really confusing for users. And for example, you can see this record 501 multiplied by zero. And as a result, I have minus 1.05. So I know that this is not really a zero in, in numbers two column. There is a negative number with uh, many decimal places. And the, as a result of, of multiplication, I have this minus one, but users cannot see it here. So it, it's really bad. Now, first thing you may want to try to do is um, going to a specific column and say, okay, show me more decimal places for numbers uh, column and you can say five. Okay, so it kind of solves problem partially, but uh, now you see all the zeros uh, in all other rows, which is not good actually. So it's um, it's really hard to read because even for just one zero or any whole number, you see all five decimal places with zeros, which is not informative. On the other hand, you may have some numbers with more than five decimal places which are not fully displayed. So this is not a solution. I will not keep this uh, configuration. Uh, same happens with the measure. So if you try to uh, configure number of decimal places for measure, you will face the same issue. So you can say five, or uh, in our example, we have up to eight decimal places for some uh, numbers. So it looks ugly. It shows you um, uh, numbers with as many decimal places as you configured, but it also shows all the zeros, which is not good. So we don't like this um, solution too. Now, what can we do about that? Um, the first idea that comes to mind is, okay, can we have a custom format string, which we don't see in the selection uh, in our ribbon? Now, it turns out Power BI has a custom format string and you can find it in the model uh, view. If you select your uh, column or your measure, so in the selection, you have custom as an option. Uh, but there is one thing I want to mention. When you try to switch format of your column uh, from general to custom, it may not work. So uh, you see, I'm, I'm trying to do it and it comes back to general. So it looks like a bug, but uh, if you switch to 
decimal first, then you will be able to switch to custom. And after you do that, you will see this custom format section where you can do basically amazing things. And what's possible there uh, is described and very well documented um, uh, here. If you follow this link, it will show you uh, the page called Use Custom Format Strings in Power BI Desktop. And it has all the information about everything you can do there. So today I will just show a few examples, but I encourage you to read this article. All right, so let's start. First example will be changing uh, format for my numbers to column. So it shows at least three decimal places if they exist. Now, how do I know that? This hash symbol, if we go back to documentation, uh, is described as digit placeholder, display a digit or nothing. The difference between zero is that zero will display a digit or zero. Uh, and if you don't have um, actual number there, it will zero will be displayed. But hash will display nothing if there is no number. So I wrote down this format, which is um, hash for all number and three hashes for three decimal places. And I click enter, I go back to my report view. And I see that numbers two column in my table changed. But it looks a bit strange, right? So I see this dot three, dot zero zero nine, to minus dot zero zero two. And that's because I used hash for my whole number section. Okay. By the way, after you enter some custom values, you may notice that this custom format string is now visible in our ribbon section. And that means that even if you don't see the choice that says custom format, you can still use it. You can still start typing your custom format string and Power BI will understand that and uh, will use it for displaying your values, which is cool. So you don't need to go to model every time you want to switch to custom or modify your format string. All right, so how to solve that first issue? I want to see zeros in my numbers when I have decimal part and don't have whole part, right? If it's uh, less than uh, one. Uh, all I need to do is just enter zero here in the beginning. And in this case, I will have four decimal places, but only if they exist. That means that now my numbers will be displayed like this, so I have all numbers, zeros, when I have zeros, negative, and if I have four or less number of decimal places, uh, it will be also, they will be also displayed correctly. And I will not have zeros in the end. So that, that's much better. Now I can add as many hash symbols, as many decimal places I want to see if they exist. Uh, in this case, I now entered eight. Here we go. Looks great. Now I, see, I can see up to eight decimal places if they exist. And I will see none if there are no decimal places and I will see zeros. And same is applied for negative numbers. Now I will copy this format and we'll do the same for my measure. All right. Now my measure is also displayed the same way with dynamic number of decimal places. Now that's one part of, of uh, our solution, but there is so much more I can do with this uh, custom format string. For example, I can add uh, units of measurement as words. I can, for example, say that um, the result of my calculation is a currency or maybe numbers two column is a currency. And all I need to do 
is just to add whatever I want in um, quotation marks wherever I want it to be displayed. Okay, you see my numbers two column now has a currency name that I used in the format string. And the best part is that um, it is still used uh, in, in calculation. So nothing has changed. There are still same numbers. They are just displayed with some additional text. There is another interesting thing I want to show you. I can use different formats for positive numbers, negative numbers, and zeros. And to do that, I need to use a semicolon. So the first section before first semicolon will be used for positive numbers. Second one will be used for negative. And uh, I can take negative in brackets, saying, OK, show me up to three decimal places for negatives, but uh, in show me numbers in brackets. And if I have 0, don't show me 0. Just show me the word. Zero. And here we go. Now we have negative number in numbers in brackets. Instead of just zero, we have zero. Now, why we see this zero? Because uh, it's not actually zeros. So we can add decimal places and we will see that there is actual number. I will do it right away. So let's make eight for positives and for negatives. Here we are. So we have, and also what I can do, for example, I can copy this to my measure and I can, um, instead of negative numbers, for example, I'm not interested in negatives or zeros. So for negative numbers, I will just show the word negative. And for zero, zero. And um, I will apply that to my measure. Interestingly, now you can see that even my graph displays negative, 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 negative instead of numbers. But numbers are still there and you can reuse them in any other calculations. It's just the way they are being displayed. How cool is that? Let's have some fun. What we can also do instead of uh, words, we can use emojis. I will click uh, Windows dot and I will pick my emoji for zeros. OK, I will use this clown face for zeros. Let's see what happens. We have it here. We have it here in our graph as well. Now. Let's let's say we have uh, some social listening tool and we have a sentiment like positive or negative number for um, our sentiments. And uh, basically we can use emojis for that as well. So for negative number, I will pick uh, an angry face. And um, I also want to see number. So I will use uh, minus and up to four, well, let's see, up to eight decimal places. And I want a happy face for positive numbers. Windows dot, very happy face. Okay. And Let's see. Cool, isn't it? Now we have emojis, different emojis for positive numbers, negative numbers, and the clown face for zeros. And you can basically change your format the way you want using just custom format string. Again, not changing your data, converting it to anything else, etc. It's still numbers, uh, and you can use them for calculation. It's just the way they are displayed. And uh, yeah, one more thing. If you want to have a comma separator, 
You can also do it by um, adding comma in front of your um, whole number zero and then adding hash there. So in this case, and, and I can do the same for negatives, putting hash here, enter. So you will see we'll have zero um, uh, comma separator uh, here, and we still have dynamic number of decimal places. That's pretty much it from me. Tell us what you think about this feature and um, your ideas, comments, please post them uh, below. That's it for today. See you next time. Thank you.